So hey guys, welcome back to my channel Grab Your Notes. This is Reshna and today we are going to deal about the topic degree along with some case laws. So let's get started. The adjudications of a court of law may be divided into two classes, number one decrees and number two orders. First of all, let's read out the section of degree. Section 2 sub clause 2 of the code defines the term decree in the following way. Decree means the formal expression of an adjudication which so far as regards the court expressing it conclusively determines the rights of the parties with regard to all or any of the matters in controversy in the suit and may be either preliminary or final. It shall be deemed to include the rejection of a plaint and the determination of any questions with section 144 but shall not include any adjudication from which an appeal lies as an appeal from an order or any order of dismissal for default. And the explanation to this section read as a decree is preliminary when further proceedings have to be taken before the suit can be completely disposed of and it is final when such adjudication completely disposes of the suit and it may be partly preliminary and partly final. As we have read the section already, let us know now what are the essential elements for a decree. In order that a decision of a court may be a decree, the following elements must be present. Actually, this was held under the case of Vidyacharan Shukla v. Khoop Chand Bhagil, 1964. First essential element, there must be an adjudication. Number two, such adjudication must have been done in a suit. Number three, it must have determined the rights of the parties with regard to all or any of the matters in controversy in the suit. Number four, such determination must be of a conclusive nature. And the final and the important essential element of a decree is there must be a formal expression of such adjudication. Now let's get into the constituent elements of a decree. First of all, let's discuss what is adjudication. For a decision of a court to be a decree, there must be an adjudication, that is, a judicial determination of a matter in dispute. In the case of Madan Nayak vs Hansu Bala Devi, it was held that if there is no judicial determination of any matter in dispute, it is not a decree. And in another case, Deepchand vs. Land Acquisition Officer 1994, it was held that such judicial determination must be by a court. Thus, an order passed by an officer who is not a court is not a decree. And the next phrase mentioned in the section decree is suit. The expression suit is not defined in the code. In the case of Hansraj Gupta vs. Official Liquidators of the Dehradun, Musuri, Electric Tramway Company Limited, the Privy Council have defined the word suit in the following way. The word suit ordinarily means and apart from some context must be taken to mean a civil proceeding instituted by the presentation of a plaint. Thus, every suit is instituted by the presentation of a plaint. It means that where there is no civil suit, there will be no decree. And the next element in decree was rights of parties in controversy. The adjudication must have determined the rights of the parties with regard to all or any of the matters in controversy in the suit. The word rights means 
substantial rights of the parties and not merely procedural rights and therefore law of limitation or jurisdiction of civil courts are construed to be substantive rights this was held in the case of dattatraya versus radha bhai 1921 thus rights of parties inter se relating to status limitation jurisdiction frame of suits accounts etc are rights of parties under this section the rights in matters of procedure are not included in it the term parties means parties to the suit that is plaintiff and the defendant thus an order on an application by a third party who is a stranger to the suit is not a decree the expression matters in controversy refers to the subject matter of the suit with reference to which some relief is sought next element was conclusive determination that is such determination must be of a conclusive nature in the case of jethanand and sons versus state of up 1961 it was held that the crucial point which requires to be decided in a case is whether the decision is final and conclusive in essence and substance In other words the real question of determination is whether after the adjudication of the court the rights sought by the parties is still stands or get disposed of If the answer is it stands then it is construed to be an order of the court but if the latter that is get disposed of is true then it is a decree and the next and final element is formal expression that is there must be a formal expression of such adjudication in the case of shakuntala devi jain versus kuntal kumari it was held that the formal expression must be deliberate and given in the manner provided by law Now let us discuss some important case laws regarding decree. The first case Gulusam BB versus Ahmadasa Rother 1919. In this case court applied the negative interpretation. Since CPC does not prohibit the court to pass more than one decree, if more than one decree is passed by the court, first decree would be considered as preliminary and the last decree would be considered as final. and all together the court observed that there can be more than one preliminary decree and more than one final decree in a suit in the next case kashi versus ramanathan chettiar in this case there were some divergence in opinion for example if in one case there comes a lot of issues court cannot give as much as decrees and ask the parties to execute it The question arises that whether the court has an obligation to justify the passing of multiple decrees. And it was held this is not a question whether the CPC allows passing more than one decree but the question is whether there is a prohibition against the court for passing more than one decree. That is before passing of the decrees the court need to check that whether the issues are capable of segregation and finally there was a case shankar versus chandrakant 1995 this case dealt with the concept of finality of decree as we know that procedural law should not have to be complex and there should be no technical interpretation for that So in this case it was said there is nothing in law which prohibits passing of more than one decree but a decree is deemed to be final in two ways number 1 when within the prescribed period no appeal is filed against the decree 
all the matter has been decided by the decree of the highest court. And number two, when the decree, so far as regards the court passing it, completely disposes of the suit. And here comes the last topic of the video, that is return of plaint and rejection of plaint. While reading out the section of decree, we went through the word rejection of plaint. There are two concepts like return of plaint and rejection of plaint which kind of look similar in nature but are different. Return of plaint happens where plaint is returned for want of jurisdiction. Return of plaint is not a degree, only an order. And rejection of plaint happens where plaint is rejected for want of legal issues. Thus, the plaint would not be maintainable. Therefore, rejection of plaint is deemed to be a decree, that is, it carries the effect of decree. That's all about today. Let's continue in the next video. Happy learning, guys! Thank you.